What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Miss Jenny B, and we are back with another Ball Alert review. So, today we are doing two in one because we were away last week. I know you missed us. So, today we are doing Snowfall Season 3, Episode 3 and 4 since we missed last week. I'm gonna keep it short for episode three because it already passed and we're already on episode four and episode three literally just like set the tone for episode four because episode four was crazy. So let's get into it. Episode three was called Cash and Carry and it basically, as I said in the last one, Franklin was implementing his new business plan so he can be the head honcho with all of his little minions. So in episode three, he put everything in motion and he was really trying to figure out how to hold all of his money. So he went to Avi to help him get offshore accounts for his crack money that he's making that is overflowing. He's on private planes and all this stuff. And then at, when they get to where they're going to um, do the offshore accounts, he realizes that Avi is pretty much trying to play him. Well, he's not trying to play him because they're legit, like, cool. But he's, like, using the money that Franklin was going to put into this the account to satisfy his own personal financial debts. But, obviously, Franklin is way too smart for all of these little characters. So, he told, basically, he finds out that Avi is trying to play him, but he still lets him, like, he still gives him the money to settle his debt because that's how Franklin is, you know? And then, so he gets, he helps Avi settle his debt and he gets money in offshore accounts. And so now he's just rich. He's signing checks, doing all of these things, his mom. Then Franklin's crew finally finds out that man boy and Wanda, who is Leon's ex-girlfriend, who is the current crackhead, they find out that they're all working together. Basically, Louis about the beat Wanda up, but instead she just tells Man Boy to drop her. They find out that Man Boy had been lying and that Wanda gave him the recipe and all of that stuff. They found out that Man Boy literally set the whole thing up with Wanda in the beginning from the first episode. But instead of like cutting him off, they use him as an extra layer between Franklin and Leon as the head honchos and the little people. So they keep him. Also, in episode two, remember, Lorena was talking to her partner about um, Teddy creating a new route or getting a new route through Lucia's family, blah, blah, blah. So at the end of episode three, we find out that Lorena interjects. Pretty much, she tries to infiltrate back with Gustavo. But you know, Gustavo knew her from last season when they freaking arrested him and Lucia. So once they open, back, they open a warehouse, this is where they're about to do their business with all of the coke through the new route, and Lorena's there, and she's like, oh, I'm working with you now, Reed didn't tell you, blah, blah, blah. So at the end of season, episode three, all you see is Gustavo pointing the gun at Lorena when he's walking into the warehouse. And then the gun goes off, and that's how episode three ended. So then episode four is where it really got crazy. So episode four is called The Games That Moves As You Play. Episode two, when Officer Wright was telling his supervisor about all of the crack and the cocaine that's in the community and how they could rectify it. So that's how episode two ended, I believe. So episode four starts back with, we revisit the topics of Officer Wright and what he wants to do for his community. Um, and you know, he hates Franklin, obviously, but he also hates that his community in LA is being plagued by crack cocaine. It starts off with us finding out the outcome to their conversation, and now it's a tactical unit. He created this whole tactical unit, or, or his supervisor did, and, and now he's like listening to his coworkers, like, oh, I don't know how you live with those animals, and all of these racial things that, you know, police say, and he's the token black guy and it's his community, but he realizes that obviously his homies, his coworkers are not really his kinfolk. You know what I'm saying? When they say all skin folk, a kinfolk, that blue, that don't work for some black officers. That's what that whole scene was about. So then it, it goes to back to t Teddy and now he has to clean up the mess that Gustavo made. He killed a DEA agent who should have been killed last season, but we're not gonna go there. So Lorena is just sitting there dead with a bullet in her head, 
and Teddy's like, what's going on? The police are gonna look for her, like you made a mistake. But obviously Gustavo didn't care. Like everybody knows what Lorena's idea was. Like Teddy himself, he wanted to just control, like for the CIA, him and Julia, they just wanted to control the cocaine, not the crack, the cocaine that's in LA. But, and that's going through Costa Rica and Nicaragua and stuff like that. But the DEA agent, Lorena, she was trying to crack down on it, basically take everyone out. And Gustavo knew that. And the fact that um, Lorena was sitting there being like, oh, I'm working with y'all now, instead of, she was like, I, I left the DEA, basically lying to them. And that's why Gustavo killed him. So when they're cleaning up the mess, they're like burying her body and the gun. And that's why that Gustavo's telling Teddy that's exactly why he killed her. He's like, I didn't kill her for being a DEA agent. I killed her for pretending to love us, like pretending to be on our team. That's unloyal, okay? As they're cleaning up their mess, they also plant coke in Lorena's house. So when she turns up dead, it turns out to be like a drug deal or or something that happened with drugs. But that was just a small portion of the story. Obviously it's great that Lorena is dead, but the whole episode, um, episode four, was about Officer Wright and his vendetta against Franklin. So after that passes, it goes back to Officer Wright. They're freaking raiding everybody's house. They raided the crack house. They raided all of the, because remember now Franklin has these layers. So they, they raided everybody in the first layer. So all of the cellars and lookout, they raided all those houses, but including the crack house. They also went to Jerome's house. Obviously, Jerome and Louis, they don't they don't play like that. The police come in, start breaking stuff, they get upset. Louis starts yelling and the police rough her up. And that's when Jerome's like, oh no, you're not about to touch my lady like that. So he starts beating up the cops. The cops put him in a chokehold with the baton. And then Officer Wright comes in. You know, Officer Wright knows these people. Like Franklin grew up next door to this man. And Officer Wright comes in and watches the police, the white police officers beat the brakes off of Jerome. And he does nothing. He literally walks in. Louis sees him walk in. He's just looking and watching them officers beat on Jerome. And he walks out, says nothing. So while this is all happening, um, Franklin and Leon are obviously untouched because that's the point of all of this. There, Franklin is actually with um, Melody, who is Officer Wright's daughter. And they're like getting it on in the back of the skate rink where Mel Melody works. Leon and Melody is there with like two other girls. So Melody is doing coke on her own. Like Franklin didn't even bring the coke. She's doing coke. She's like, wow. All of these things that freaking Officer Wright hates about Franklin and his daughter is the one doing coke. Franklin's not even on the product. He just sells it, but anyway. So um, then Leon and Franklin get the call about the raid. So they leave them and they go to handle it, talk to Louie. She's all rattled because now Jerome is locked up because he didn't assaulted an officer. He's more than locked up. Like he was sent to the infirmary, infirmary, because he, actually Louie said he was taken out on a stretcher. So he was beaten up badly. Um, now Franklin is pissed, of course, like he's like over it. Franklin calls his lawyers, obviously, and everybody that they locked up is literally out. Well, actually, in, before that happened, officer, we see Officer Wright talking to some of the people that are in jail. I think he was talking to Fat, Fatback. That might have been Fatback, yeah. He was talking to Fatback, and he's like, if you could just um, communicate, I mean, not communicate, cooperate, then you could be out of here in no time. Fatback was like, bro. I'm not telling you nothing, pretty much. So then um, after they all get out, thanks to Franklin's lawyers, they Franklin holds a meeting. He's like, y'all didn't tell the police jack shit, and that's what you're supposed to do. We got your back, because obviously y'all are all out. They couldn't um, charge any of the minors with anything. So Franklin is like, oh, we should just get more younger kids to do this, to be the lookout, so that there's even more people in between us so they shouldn't even know who we are but Leon and Louie are like maybe we should handle officer Wright first because he's on our ass like we need to do something about him but everybody also is like you can't kill a cop because then those racist cops that were beating on Jerome and happy to infiltrate the neighborhood and get the drugs off they're going to target all of the black people in the neighborhood like if a if a cop is dead, it's over. But Franklin is just thinking money. He's just thinking business. 
So then he meets up with, so Melody talks to her dad. She's like, I heard that there was a raid and Jerome got beaten up pretty bad. She's like, did you do anything to stop it? And he just said nothing. He, and then he was like, bad people, basically bad people need to pay for their problem or their crimes. But Franklin is not a bad guy. I mean, he's a drug dealer and people are on coke, but literally he's like an upstanding human being. Oh, also during the meeting, they made an example out of somebody. They're, they're like, Franklin is like, um, it's good that all of you guys are out, but they should have never caught the, they should have never found the crack house, the cook house. They should have never known where that was. So we're one of y'all blasting music, having parties, having girls in and out, going through the front door. And then the dude that runs the cookhouse, he's like, nah, that must have been y'all. That must have, y'all must have messed something up. Franklin took out his gun and was like, whack, pistol with him. He on the floor, the, his, Franklin's homies is beating him up. Franklin is like, basically, now if you do wrong, it's over for you. And then Leon went and shot him because Leon is trigger happy. But he's basically like, it's, it's no room for error no more. And if there is any error, you're, it's over for you. Like you're getting, getting got so franklin has his meeting melody talks to her dad so melody comes to franklin's house and she's just like you have to stop you have to stop what you're doing you have to stop selling drugs well first she apologizes she comes and she's she apologizes for all that has happened franklin hugs her and then she's like you gotta stop he's like excuse me what <laughs> he's like what are you talking about she's like it's it's um, my pretty much my dad is on you and it's, it's hurting the community and they're not gonna stop and so then Louie busts out the door and she's about to beat her up because obviously her dad just whipped Jerome she's like you better get her off my property handle her and then Franklin breaks it up but he pretty much tells Melody to get lost because pretty much it's over for you girl like you and your dad can go to hell that's what he that's what it seemed like to me and then yeah so that's pretty much how it ended like leaving melody in front of her house so i guess their relationship is like tainted now because her dad is such a dick but you know things happen so next episode i'm assuming the officer wright and franklin feud is just going to continue to unfold i believe that teddy is just going to continue using Franklin and Gustavo and Lucia's mom to have drugs running through the United States. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this review. Um, I'm gonna put a timestamp of where episode four started and so that you can just skip ahead. But if not, just watch the whole thing. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, comments, drop them all down below. I'm Miss Jenny B and this is your Ball Alert Review.